Hey there escapers, how are you all doing this fine day? Zen here, and today I'll be bringing you an in-depth discussion of the Calphite King's attacks and how to avoid them. Now, since uh, Khan's video a few days ago about the general tactics to uh, combat the Calphite King, I've learned quite a few things by going in teams uh, over the past few days and a lot of things have also changed so I thought I'd bring you guys this video um, to inform you about the changes and how to fight the Calphite King better uh, having understood him after fighting him so many times and <coughs> new tactics coming out recently as well so firstly in the background you can probably see uh, clips of me fighting the Calphite King and in some of them cans there as well and I'll show you the loots I've gotten from the Calphite King over my uh, adventures, if you like, over the past few days. And uh, there are three splits. That's all I'll say. Some of them are trolls. Some of them, some of them are not. But you can see that for yourself. So uh, let's get started on uh, on the main parts of this video, which is an in-depth discussion of the Calphite King's attacks. So. Most of you probably know the most dangerous attack is the green attack, as it were. This green attack is when the Calphite King uses a shot of a, a well, he throws a blob at one of the people, and uh, usually he targets this person for a long time before he uses the shot. So if you're being targeted, uh, you should expect this. Um, and the first thing I'll say is if you're being targeted and you know you're going to get this attack you're probably going to be one hit if your teammates don't help you the first thing is stay near your teammates where they can see you I mean it's no use staying in the corners and trying to run away and try to you know get away from him by going to the corners it's very unlikely he will come off you if he's uh, if, if he hasn't done the green attack on you so you should try and stay near your teammate and also Make sure you're not under one of the minions that he spawns because you might not be seen. So stay near your teammates. As soon as you're green, shout help or something of that nature. Now, some people generally, well, people generally don't actually see the person going green clearly because, as I said, people are at the corners or away from the main group of players. So shouting help also helps uh, people to uh, recognize that you're in danger so they can use provoke now provoke is the only thing that can save you so if you're green someone else has to use provoke as soon as possible and you will be saved now if you're the person using provoke you need to make sure that you use one of these three attacks immediately after you press provoke and press provoke quite quickly as soon as you see the, see the person going green you can use either resonance barricade or immortality. Now resonance is good if you time it right. I mean resonance heals you for the first hit that you get after six seconds, uh, six seconds after casting it. So say for example that one of the minions hits you within that six seconds, um, the king will still one hit you because you've healed from the minions hit after you cast resonance. So it's not it's not a hundred percent a guaranteed chance of saving you if you use provoke but it's a very good one if um, if you don't mind taking a small amount of risk and uh, you can heal to full health um, uh, the, the king will heal you instead of one hitting you um, the second one is barricade now in my opinion this is the best one to use because um, you will basically not take any damage at all. There's no risk involved if you use this. For 10 seconds, you won't take any damage whatsoever. Um, so that's that's the best one. You need to make sure your adrenaline bar is full, obviously. And uh, as a general rule, try not to use ultimates or too many threshold abilities throughout the battle because uh, someone can go green at any time. It, you'd need to save them at any time as well. And also, finally, have immortality. Now, immortality is a good ultimate to use, but it's not as good as barricade because uh, even though you'll get one hit, you'll come back to life and you'll only be healed to 30% of your life points. Um, so basically, it's not very good when you look at look at it that way and when you compare it to barricade. 
So those are the main things to save you from uh, being one hit by the green attack. And uh, finally, <coughs> I haven't tested this out, but I I I think you might be able to use vengeance um, also to prevent you from being one hit. But I'm not sure for um, I'm. I'm not sure at all, so we'll have to test this out. Probably not true as well. Thinking about it a uh, second time, so yeah. Um, also, if you're being targeted and you haven't been, uh, you know, the green attack hasn't been used on you for a while, you might be in. Uh, you might be obliged to use immortality because I'm not sure if this works as well. But if you use immortality. It lasts for 30 seconds, and if within those 30 seconds you get targeted and you become green, and no one provokes for you, which is very annoying if no one provokes for you, people, <laughs> teams hate each other for that. Um, if you die, you might come back to life, but that will have to be within the 30 seconds to work. So, you know, it might work, it might not. It's a gamble, but <coughs> it's certainly. Uh, no harm, there's certainly no harm in using it if you're being targeted for a long period of time and you haven't been turned green yet, so yeah. Now on to the other attacks of the Calphite King. So firstly, his uh, this one he uses all throughout the fight. He rears on his hind legs and digs into the ground and then <coughs> it will he will come back and uh, he will appear under the player he was last targeting before he jumped down into the sand. Now the only way to avoid this is to run, keep running, because uh, if you st if you move once after he goes in, he'll come and hit you from under where you're standing this new time. So you want to keep running until he appears. And if he hits you, he'll hit you for up to three thousand to four thousand damage melee damage. So you you really want to be avoiding that. Um, also, he'll he'll heal um, randomly throughout uh, the kill. Um, this will happen in a similar fashion to Nexus Siphon, if you know that. Uh, in her blood phase, she siphons, and any attacks that you uh, do to her will heal her instead of damaging her. So this will happen when he'll be surrounded by a reddish aura. Now, I'm not sure. Um, how this actually looks because I haven't actually investigated it but I hear that it's uh, it's something you don't want to be attacking her when she's uh, doing it so yeah now uh, the Calphite King has three phases um, the first phase is orange where he will be using melee and he'll be weak to mage fire spells to be exact uh, he has three phases which he ch uh, changes between all throughout uh, the kill. In the melee phase it's it's not too hard all you need to do is make sure you mage him and try not to be close to him because he can uh, use an attack where he slams his legs into the ground and damages you for quite a bit so uh, <coughs> you want to be away from him and you don't want to be meleeing him uh, at this point in time. Um, he also charges so he charges at you like a bit like uh, the Ramanaut from Dungeoneering and he pushes you all the way back and you'll be dealt a significant amount of damage around 2000 um, and the only way to avoid this is when you see him charge up you want to get out of his way so he'll travel in a straight line up to a wall and hit you against the wall so those are the main attacks for melee that you need to know about and the melee phase is probably the easiest because most people mage him because that's the most convenient way to attack him although I would recommend tribriding if you want to have faster kills or at least use mage and range if not melee as well and uh, for these you want to be using arrows for ranging and stab weapons when you're meleeing because those are his weaknesses and he has a very high defense so you don't want to be using something that's not his weakness now going on to the range attack this phase he will be his wings will be green and he'll be using three main attacks the standard attack is a bit like the um, Calphat Queen's attack he'll fire some uh, darts sort of lines at you and it's a range attack it's a bit like the fragmentation shot the bleed ability for range so he'll take three damage if you move from your place uh, when he does the attack 
Um, so you want to be using uh, freedom there in order to stop the bleed attack from going on for a long amount of time. Secondly, he will use uh, darts that he will that will stun people, and uh, <coughs> that, that a way to get away from that is again use either anticipation or freedom to make sure you're unstunned. And finally, he'll be using incend incendiary shot. Um, you know the ultimate that you have in uh, when you're using a two-handed range weapon in your action bar. So it can hit up to five thousand damage. And it can also drain your prayer, so you really want to be praying range there, and you want to be uh, trying to uh, eat as much as possible, and it will explode in a few seconds. So if you know it's coming, you, you have a bit of a warning to avoid it. Now, this is the most debated uh, phase, the magic phase. Um, he has two main attacks. The first one, I don't think he can avoid. Uh, he'll shoot blue circles at you when his wings are when his wings are blue he'll be using magic so you want to be using range in this phase you do not want to be using magic um, on him because it will lengthen the time he's at that face and it will massively increase the chance of uh, <laughs> you being one hit by his uh, attack which I'll come on to so he, he does a blue energy attack um, these energy circles will hit people for up to 3000 damage <coughs> and he stunned me quite a lot using this attack as well so you want to be avoiding this um, you, well you can't really avoid it you know, but you can pray mage trying to I think it will halve the damage that it does on you so if you see him throw it and you're lucky enough not to be stunned try and run away from it before it hits you now the second attack, this is the most debated attack. Well, um, he shoots a lot of orangey orbs at uh, people. Now, apparently this is triggered by using multi-attack abilities like Chain and um, Fire Breath and Ricochet and Hurricane. Now, I'm not too sure because I've been looking at a few sources and I found that what this attack is induced when you attack a minion so when you use chain obviously you're gonna hit a minion because it will hit multiple targets so what I'd advise is not to attack the minions in order to prevent or lower the chance of this attack being coming off com uh, this attack being activated because well the, the way to avoid it obviously is to just to run away from the circles and protect mage that will uh, hopefully take down some of the damage but I don't think it does it's quite deadly either way from my experience so if you're stunned and you can't avoid the attacks definitely use freedom because you can get one hit it's pretty much no escape except telly so you want to be running away from this and uh, you also don't want to be using multi attacks because they will hit the minions so don't attack the minions don't attack the king with magic use range or melee but obviously range is much much better and don't at use multi attack abilities so yeah and keep auto retaliate off so you don't accidentally attack a minion so that's about it guys so using these tips I hope you can kill Kalfat King quite quickly and uh, if I find out anything more I will post in the comments. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, this that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy killing the Calphite King. Um, try and avoid his attacks. And remember, always provoke to stop teammates dying because it can result in a big fight within the team and you don't want that to happen. So yeah, uh, <laughs> well, it's a shame that the... The rewards have been halved in G price, but still, it's a pretty good boss to kill. The drop rate has been nerfed, but you know that that's the way it goes. Day of release is always the best time to kill it. So, yep. Yeah, hope you guys get lucky there. And um, if you have any questions at all, please post in the comment section below. Thank you very much, guys. See ya.